Hey guys and welcome to Lazcast. This is your monthly feature patch rant. So patch 4.1 is round the corner it seems so I thought we'd go through a few of the sort of changes that are going to happen there. A couple of the main ones that I've seen are the two new heroics that is Zul Gurub and Zul Aman. I call them new, they're actually recycled content from vanilla. And the other major change is the guild finder system. So, the new two new heroics. I've been on the PTR, I've been around Zolgarub in a pug, and I'm not really all that sort of impressed by it. I was expecting, considering it's give, going to give you um, epics which are 353 item level, it just doesn't... I don't know, what's the best way to put it? Well... The boss encounters are pretty easy and mediocre. Think about it like this, I'd say one of the hardest heroics in um, Cataclysm at the moment is probably just because it's annoying and hard to get through but you feel like you've sort of done something at the end of it. I'd say it's probably Stonecore. And this is a step down from Stonecore, it, it really is. Once you learn the simple mechanics of the bosses there's nothing to it really and that's a problem because you'd expect it to be a little bit more difficult than so something like that so I'm not overly impressed by it and I think the loot is a bit too high for for the boss encounters so yeah hmm, not so great could it could have been a lot better had a lot of potential and at the minute in the PTR I'm just not seeing it really Anyway, that's sort of my view on Zulgarub. I'm sure there are plenty of others that people have. And yeah, right. The guild finder system. So now, if you're a player who isn't in a guild, although at level 85 I think there are currently very few who aren't in a guild, you can now use the guild finder system to enter your details in, what knights should be available for raiding on, that sort of thing. It's good in theory. Don't get me wrong. It's something that should have been there from sort of vanilla, I'd say. It shouldn't really have taken this long to implement something like that. But uh, to me, it just seems a bit too corporate. <laughs> it's like filling out your CV on a, on a website. You know, put it putting in details for a job. You know, I, I've never been a fan of guilds that make you apply on their website and that, and that sort of thing. And that's pretty much, you know, what this is, but to a sort of larger community. Although, then again, it, I'm sort of glad it's there, really. You know, could could, could be worse, <laughs> could, could not be there. What I've preferred to, to be quite honest, is for me to put my guild forward to other people rather than just spamming my, my macro in trade chat and that sort of thing. You know, if there was sort of a little system in place where I could just put my guild up, give a bit of info, what nights we sort of raid on and people could see that and then, you know, get in, get in touch with me or someone else. That probably, in my opinion, would have been better. Okay, so that's the two sort of major changes sort of covered there. A lot of class changes, it's worth checking out um, your class um, to see what the changes sort of um, entail for you. I'll put a link below this video to the patch notes and I'm just going to go for a few sort of the classes that I sort of play and a few things I've noticed. First off, Death Knights. Okay, Ray's ally is now going to work exactly the same as a Druid's Battle Res. Now I've got a few issues with this, come to think of it. Why should a tanking class with no healing abilities whatsoever suddenly have an ability to raise someone back to life. It's a bit dumb, really, you know, comes to think of it. Uh, you know, if, they, if they're given a healing class, such as a priest, a, a shaman, something something along the lines of a combat res, I know shaman's got his um, reincarnate, but that's slightly different. I, I, I could have accepted that. I really could, but to, get, to go, well... You're a death knight, and now you can raise people from the ground, as good as a druid. Well, doesn't make uh, too much of a sense, but I suppose they've had to do something there, really. 
It's not only that, it's the fact that the druid loses a bit of his uniqueness. You want a druid in your raid because of the combat res, it's really, really handy. It's a bit like when Cat came out and they gave um, mages time warp as a shame, and I thought a bit put out by that personally because it's like, well, I do blood loss, that's, that's what I bring to a raid group, but nope, now mages can do it too, so hope druids don't feel too bad about that. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, so yeah, that's, that's the new major sort of death knight change. Um, warriors, you know, I play a warrior. You'll see my guides and that on Lousecast. Um, okay, some interesting stuff here. A whole wall of text on warriors. The interesting thing is, is basically, you're going to get an AOE last stand. If you're not aware, last stand is the ability we, a warrior uses to get 30% health back for a short period of time. So this can be applied to an entire raid. That's pretty awesome. I've got to admit, I do like that. So it means if you, you know you've lost your healers, but your boss is nearly down, you're about to do it. Uh, last stand, and everyone's up for a, a few more seconds. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a, you know, it's not. I don't see it as being overpowered. You know, it, gi it gives the warrior something unique at the end of the day. To, to um, apart from the other tanking classes, so that's that's pretty good. Um, the damage on Colossus Smash, the 100% damage reduction, has been reduced to 70%. Now I can see why. It's because at the moment, if you're in a melee party in arena, you're all melee, and you have your warrior do Colossus Smash, you know, you, you and then you disarm them. You, you just nuke a guy in seconds. So that's I, I'm not really too bothered by that, to be quite honest. That, that's all right. So. That's that's the sort of warrior sort of looked at there, looked at death. Knight. Rogues. Now here's a really sort of weirdly interesting run. Considering they've not done this in three expansions now. Rogue stealth. You know when a rogue stealths and he sort of slunks around moving real slow? Stealth will now operate at normal speed. And if you have the talent in the assassination tree, you'll move even faster. I, uh, I don't know even where to start with this one. Yeah, rogues were really nasty in PvP. Um, up until Blizzard decided everyone's going to have huge amounts of health in Kata. You know, because you get your, a rogue behind you, he's stun lock you, and you'll be dead in about 3-4 hits. Really annoying, I know, but at the end of the day, they can only go after individual targets. They're really easy to pick off if you spot them. But I don't think this is the right way to go about it. Going, oh, we'll just up their stealth to, to normal speed. Because, yeah, in Arena, they, they can sort of abuse it. I suppose they can stealth, you know, gain learn life, stealth out, you know, run away at normal speed, and then bandage up, and then come back to the fight, and then just keep repeating the process. Yeah, I think that will be quickly sort of nerfed. Um, anything else? I'm just scrolling through the patch notes here. Anything else that sort of grabbed my attention? Oh! Um, yeah, that was it. I was just going to finish on, basically, the new raid, Firelance, is not coming out this patch. Nope. Blizzard have decided against it. You can go read the blue posts on the um, WoW forums, but the reasoning for it is because not enough guilds have completed the current raid content. Yep. Uh, I know that we've done about sort of 6 to 12 now, 6, six to 12, 7 to 12 maybe, on normal, we haven't done any for right. We're not even going to bother with heroic. I don't really see the point in going through the same content. It's just a bit harder. That's just my per personal thought on it. You know, don't get me wrong. If you're in a hardcore raiding guild that, and that sort of stuff, you know, going for all the heroics and everything floats your boat. That's fine. But it's yeah, just don't have the time for it. So they're not releasing firelands because not enough guilds have done the raids. Okay, um, I've looked on. Um, at the raid stats, and quite a few guilds have done the current raids, and already people are getting a bit bored of them, doing the same bosses over and over again. I think they should have released Firelands in this patch. It's meant to be a content patch, it's meant to be an update, but, ah, uh, well, never mind, maybe, maybe they just haven't had the time, you know, I can't say, it's not like, uh, I don't want to go into it too much, really, on my sort of thoughts on it, but... Anyway, that's pretty much it as far as I can tell at a glance at patch 4.1. Like I said, the full patch notes will be in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching and listening. Um, this has been the monthly feature here on Loudscast. 
Um, don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and thumb up this video if you liked it. Um, we will be bringing you some of the new heroics from the PTR soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.